Yo, what is going on, guys? And as you guys can see, I got some stuff behind me. So let's just talk real quick. What the hell that be? Oh. I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the low for a fatty fuck. I made a video a couple months ago and I told you guys that basically I have 29 jerseys, some of them were signed, but I showed you guys a majority of them basically showed you what I had in store and now I got some new ones so I thought why not share them with you guys because I'm excited, I think there's some real heat. I just got one yesterday and I thought I had to show you guys so let's just take a look at all of them together real quick. We'll start off right here with Uncle Drew. You guys already know this is Uncle Drew, man. No, no introductions needed. This was actually not the first jersey I bought from the Nike collection, but I don't know why I started with it because, you know, it's Kyrie. I had to start with Uncle Drew. The first jersey I bought was this bad boy right here. You already know OKC number zero. I had to get me a Russell Westbrook statement jersey because he legit makes a statement every night. I couldn't, I couldn't put him down, man. I had to represent for my man. And next up, we have the Greek freak, the guy who went to my store yesterday so if you didn't see that video make sure you check it out if you saw my video yesterday you saw this jersey already you saw how beautiful it is man this is Giannis man this is one of the most beautiful jerseys ever made right here next up we have this in the case these are limited edition guys you see these bad boys these are the Kobe Bryant retirement jerseys number eight and number 24 I don't think I'm ever taking them out I'm never putting them on because you guys have no idea what size these are. I have no idea, really. Let's just take a look at one so I can show you guys the bottom real quick. This is stitched on the five stars for the championships. The date of the ceremony, his signature is stitched, but the jersey itself is not, which was really disappointing, especially that these jerseys were $400 retail. So I paid basically... 435 for this one 435 for that one after tax so that's like 900 dollars almost for two jerseys that aren't even authentic which is a real disappointment in my opinion thanks a lot nike i know it's kobe but come on come on you could do better than that last but not least the jersey i bought yesterday let's take a look at this together real quick at this bad boy completely stitched on man this is an authentic kobe bryant all-star jersey since the all-star game is in la they decided to make a kobe bryant version and i decided to get the authentic because you know there's no more of these and it has the jordan logo which is retarded a retarded kobe jordan together one jersey and the cool thing is they're actually making a bulls version with jordan on the back so hopefully i can get my hands on that let me know what you guys think of this beauty right here and i'll see you guys later balling out